Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm just going to do a quick video on different ways of using saturation in DaVinci Resolve uh, because I would say what you don't want to do is to consistently use just the normal saturation knob down here in the bottom. Now, the reason you don't want to do that is because this saturation knob is kind of, you could say old fashioned. It kind of just saturates everything uniformly all at once, which is what you don't want. Because sometimes when you're using saturation, maybe you want her skin tone to stay a certain way and maybe you don't want the hat to oversaturate. And you know, you want to start looking at images in terms of, you know, how much do I want to saturate the reds? the greens here, the yellows, the skin tone, the blues in the background over here. And a normal saturation knob just does everything uniformly at once. And it definitely has its time and its place. But I think most Resolve users, especially when they're starting out, just crank that thing up. It's the only way they know to increase saturation and it's the only thing that they use. So the first one that I'm gonna go over is the HDR tool here. Your footage does not have to be HDR. It doesn't have to be, you know, any special thing that you've set up with your footage to use this. It's simply kind of a smarter way to increase your saturation. And when I say a smarter way, I mean, you know, think of tools in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop where it says like increase vibrancy or anything like that what those tools do rather than just increasing everything at once. I kind of showed you an example here, for example, apply. So this, for example, is an exaggeration, but I, what I did is I simply cranked up the saturation all the way to 100% on this normal saturation tool down here to kind of show you how it just kind of jacks up all of the saturation. And then if I compare it to the HDR saturation, you can see you know, this is one saturated and you can really tell by looking at the hat up here. You can see how this this the HDR saturation tool. It looks a little bit smoother, whereas if I pull this back, this is now the normal saturation. You can see how it's kind of clipped. It's blown out. You can see it looks very neon and digital and really oversaturated. How bright and vibrant it is it looks pretty bad. And let me go into full screen here. So the digital saturation, again, you can kind of see it up here and in the jacket especially. And then this is the SDR. It just has a nicer, more organic, natural look to it. And that's kind of what the HDR saturation does. It just kind of uses smarter tools within Resolve where it analyzes the, the footage a little bit better and it does a more organic um, increase in saturation versus this one, which is a little bit older. So it tends to really blow out a lot of color tones. Again, this is me just for, uh, to show you guys, this is me cranking both up to a hundred percent. So this by no means is meant to look amazing. It's just a way to show you how they differ because normally you would never take a clip and crank up the saturation to a hundred percent. But even for this being the HDR, even this cranked up at 100%, it looks pretty, it looks okay. You know, you would expect something to be a lot more uh, pushed and blown out like this. So let me reset that. That's the original clip. And again, the way you would do that is you simply go into the HDR tool, increase the saturation on the global side of it. So you can simply go here and then drag, like if I wanna increase the saturation and then you can slowly move it up. Let's just say I really push it up about here. Before, this was set to the max, but before, after, before, and after. So I would suggest definitely use, if you're going to just uniformly increase the saturation on your clip, then what I would say is definitely try to use this HDR saturation a little bit more. Um, then you would use just your traditional saturation knob and I think you get much better results. And the second way to increase your saturation in a more organic way is to use the curves down here. So if I click on this, it's already set to it. The first one I wanna show you is the hue versus saturation right here. So I would click here and I would say, rather than thinking of saturation as just you know cranking it all up, uniformly like this, I would say start looking at an image and saying, you know what, I wanna just boost maybe 
um, the greens, maybe a, the reds a little bit, the yellows, and bring the blues down. So you reset that. I would maybe say click on the her red hat here, and then I would just kind of look here and I'm just gonna increase the reds a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna click on her coat and I'm going to maybe just boost that up a little bit. And you have more fine control over it and things, you know, whenever you look at a grade and you wonder how did they make it look like that? Why does it look so, you know, natural, organic, cinematic, whatever you wanna call it. You know, this is something that a lot of colorists use you know, including myself, just so your footage has a little bit more of a unique look and it just doesn't look so digital. So I'm gonna boost, say the greens like this, and then I'm gonna say, I want the blues in this shot to be muted quite a bit to help everything else pop. So this is the image before any saturation and then with saturation. Before and after it'll just kind of show you that you know doing something like this can tend to look a little bit better a little bit more organic and this is just by simply adjusting the colors you know you can get creative do anything you want maybe I'll say I'll just maybe just bring the greens down maybe grab her coat again and maybe add a more different look to it but you can see how this looks here a little bit more stylized and it's just a, a much better way to work with your saturation compared to you know just doing this and increasing it or decreasing it and that's all you do i'm going to show you a different example how it can also affect and including a third tool that i'm going to show you so here's a pretty you know you could say boring shot it just looks like your typical corporate video shot i'm just going to do a quick adjustment here, you know, and let's say this is just kind of like the base look. It was just here and now it's here. And then I'm going to use those same tools, the same curve. So I'm going to first pick the skin tone here. And I want the skin tones on this shot to be very kind of muted. And I want her blue shirt to be very saturated and kind of pop a little bit. And then maybe just this little green here. Let's just say we also crank that up a little bit. And then something else you can use that it may not sound like it has to do with saturation, but it actually does, is the hue versus luminance tool. So you have to remember that luminance, when you increase luminance or decrease luminance or make something brighter or darker, that affects how vibrant a color may look or how dark and deep a color may look. So you can see that their skin is a little bit hot, a little bit blown out. So I'm gonna click on her forehead here. And what this says is that anything that's of this, that hue that her forehead is or skin tones, I wanna darken that. So I'm gonna take that hue and I'm gonna bring down the luminance. And so I'm gonna go here and drag down. You can see how it affects it. But I'm actually going to kind of slowly Bring it down there and before, after, you blow up, before, after, before, after, there we go. And so now you can see that we took a shot that started off like this and then we made it look like that. And here it is after and a big part of it was this here where here you can see that she's, you know, the skin is maybe a little too hot, too bright, too, has a bit of a digital look to it. And there we go, made things look a little bit, a little bit darker, a little bit more organic and natural, a little bit more like film, before, after, and the shot originally started here, and now it's here. So that's it, very quick tip today, and it basically just comes down to, uh, try playing with the HDR tools a little bit more in terms of the saturation and also use your hue versus saturation tools and then your hue versus luminance tools to affect how vibrant, how dark, and you can really affect the look of a shot and make it look a little bit more unique than just simply going in here and you know cranking up the saturation, which is what most people do, but I'd say avoid that and then your footage will look much, much better. All right, guys, so 
If that was helpful, definitely uh, like, subscribe, let me know if you want to see any different kinds of videos or if you have any resolve questions. I always love hearing you know, what you want to learn. Uh, so I'll see you all next time.